Okay. Improper fractions and mixed numbers, alashma. Numbers come in all shapes and sizes. Some are big and some are little. Some are whole, and others are a bit fractional. As far as fractions go, it's a mixed bag. Some fractions are proper. Some are improper. And then there are those that are just a little mixed up. Who am I? Proper fractions have a numerator that's smaller than the denominator, which means they're always less than one. Proper fractions also donate to charities and volunteer in soup kitchens. They know they're not greater than anyone else around them. Improper fractions, on the other hand, are a little full of themselves. They've got big heads. Well, big numerators, anyway. In improper fractions, the numerator is bigger than the denominator, which means they're greater than one. Plus one, one. Since fractions aren't supposed to be greater than one, we call these guys improper. They're a bit on the rude side. Uh, well, I never. But if they get on our nerves, we can change them into mixed numbers. Mixed numbers are combinations of whole numbers and fractions, so they may be a bit confused at times. Maybe they're going through an identity crisis or something, and we don't really know. Am I a whole number or am I a fraction? We can change improper fractions into mixed numbers by dividing the numerator by the denominator. That's what fractions are, right? Division. We'll end up with a number and a remainder. The number is the whole number in front, and the remainder goes in the numerator of the fraction that follows it. If we're sick of being mixed up by mixed numbers, we can change them back into improper fractions too. Since we divided to change them, let's multiply to change them back. First we multiply the denominator by the whole number. Once we find that product, we add it to the numerator of our mixed numbers fraction. Then we put that number all over the original denominator. I'm the original denominator! To get our improper fraction. So in the end, mixed numbers and improper fractions can express the same number in two different ways. It's up to you to decide which is better, improper or mixed. Who am I? Well, I never. I'm the original denominator! Yeah, sounds like that guy. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, so an improper fraction is a fraction with more pieces in it than a whole. Okay, so an improper fraction is a fraction with more pieces in it than one whole. For example, one fourth, how many pieces make one whole? Okay. So if I had that um, that fraction, how many pieces would I need to make a whole? You can tell me, Parker. I would need four pieces, right? Because this right here tells me how many pieces make a whole. Okay. All right. So what if I had more than four pieces? I'd have more than a what? Noah. I'd have more than one whole. Correct. Okay, so why are these improper fractions? Who wants to show me why these are improper fractions? Yep. Oh no, I can just tell my answers. No, Ronnie, show me. For all of them? No, just one of them. Okay, no. Here you have blank fractions. Oh, yeah. So show me. Yeah, you can you can do it unless you use this yes, one. Yes, let me show you. Okay, so I have five fourths, right? So I have more than a whole. That would be my answer. Why there's more than a whole? Yes, no. Number six or six fourths. Let's go. I'm here. It is improper because there's more than the there's more than there is. Well, then there's going to be two there. There's going to be two more left.
Um, probably do the bottom one. There you go. Okay, so I have two more pieces and a hole. Okay, Amir, come show me seven fourths. Okay, so in this one, I have almost two holes, right? I've got one whole pie, let's say it's like a pie, a one whole pie, and then three-fourths of another piece of pie, okay? So those are improper fractions. All right, so now that we know that those are improper fractions, let's figure out how to fix them. Okay, figure out if these are improper or not improper fractions. Uh, Kaylin. Come up here. No, I want you to do one of them. So one third. Is it improper or not an improper fraction? Okay, Kaylin believes it's not an improper fraction. Leave it alone, please. Thank you. Sit down. All right, so take one third and drag it into whatever place that you believe it to be. Go on. Thank you. Okay, good. It disappears. So one third is not an improper fraction. Why, Kaylin? Okay, I don't have a bigger number in the, what is the top number called? The numerator. Thank you. Um, Shaylin, come up. Which one are you choosing? Nine sevenths? Okay. Nine sevenths. Where does that go? Why? Why isn't it an improper fraction? Because the denominator is seven and the numerator is nine and it's higher. Okay, so the top number or the numerator is higher than the bottom number. Good. Drew? Which one are you going to choose? Two thirds. Okay, two thirds is not an improper fraction. Drew, where are you going? Come here. Why? Why do you think that two thirds is not an improper fraction? <coughs> okay, but why? Nope. You don't get away that easily. Why is it an improper fraction and not an or why is it not an improper fraction? Think of the numbers on top and in bottom. <coughs> what makes it a Okay. Right. So that's a proper fraction, okay? Or um, a not improper fraction. The number on top is less than the number on the bottom. Uh, Abby. Two fifths. Okay, Abby. Why is it not an improper fraction? Because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Good. The numerator is smaller than the denominator. Thank you, um, Alexis. Okay, six fifths an improper fraction. Why? Because uh, the denominator is bigger than the Good. The numerator was bigger than the denominator. Um, crazy. Andrew, you can go next. Why are you giving me that look? Okay, three, three halves. Why? Because the numerator Thank you. Numerator is bigger than the denominator. Come on, Andrew. Okay, why did it spit it back at you? Okay, look at the numerator, top number and the bottom number. Please stop talking. So if the if the numerator is smaller on top, it is a proper fraction. Good. Uh, Miss Powell Fox. 
Okay, good, why? Because one and five. Because one's a small number, and it can't go. Okay, thank you. Amy? And John, you're next. Okay, Amy, why? Great. Numerator is bigger than denominator. And John, final one. Dun dun dun. Okay. Why? Because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Great. Numerator is bigger than denominator. Good. All right. So an improper fraction has a what? Everybody, the numerator is? Bigger than the denominator. Okay, so in a proper fraction, the numerator is? Bigger than the denominator. We're going to keep doing it until I get everybody to participate. The in proper fraction, the numerator is? Bigger than the denominator. Thank you. Sit up, please. All right. Now a mixed number. A mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. Okay. So in this case, we've got two whole circles and a half of another circle. So there are two and a half circles shown. Two and a half is a mixed number. Okay, mixed just like you would mix a cake. Mixed okay. or you have you would have um, different ingredients, right? When you mix something, okay, you have different ingredients. Same thing. In this case, we have a whole number, a big number, and then we have a fraction, which makes it a mixed number. Okay, how many fruit bars are shown? Oh, get your whiteboards out. Mm -mm. pieces do you see in my hole? Two. Two pieces. So what? One number needs to be in your denominator. Okay, so you have a three. Okay, good. Oops. There is one whole fruit bar and half of another fruit bar. Therefore, there are one and one half fruit bars. Okay, here's another one. Write a mixed number for each picture. Oh, that's Write a mixed number for the picture, please. Alright, show me in three. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, show me in three, two, one. two over one was. So where would you get your one from? Right, but you didn't have the number two. You had one. You had it like this. Oh, something like that. You didn't have a two. Giselle, how did you get the one? Okay, but I don't understand. Looking at this picture, how many cups of juice do you have? Full cups of juice. Two cups of juice. Where did you get one? Sophia, where did you get one? Okay, so you put one hole here. Okay, that would have been fine, but then you also have another hole right here, right? Okay, so how many holes do I have all together? Two holes, and then one half. Okay? All right, let's try another one. Okay, write a mixed number for each picture. So I have this computer the internet so it's been very helpful today. Okay, so writing a mixed number for each for this picture. Okay, I love when people say it's easy and then they get it wrong.
Then you look at the outside piece and say, how many pieces do I have here? If I had two pieces of pizza right here, then what would change on this fraction? Parker. No, if I just had another piece of pizza right over here on the side. All it would do is change this number, right? Okay. All right, let's try another one. All right, write a mixed number for each for this picture. Uh, oh, okay. First, write your whole number.
Sorry, it's hard to stand in front of there and not be in somebody's way. Okay, so now when I, step number two is to actually do the division. So three goes into seven how many times? One, two, two one. times. So I'm going to write my two up here. This gives me the integer part. Okay, so now I know I'm going to at least have a whole number of two. Okay, three times two is? I'm sorry, again, three times two is six. Okay, seven minus six is? One. One, okay. The remainder is the new numerator. Okay, so now my, my remainder goes on top. And then the denominator doesn't change, so I still have three. Okay. There, does that help? Okay. Okay, so in here is another example of how to do that. So we have 32 sevenths. We have 32 sevenths, okay? So I'm going to take 7 on the outside of my house for my division. I'm going to take the numerator inside the house for my division, and I'm going to divide, all right? So 7 goes into 32. Four times, okay, so 7 times 4 is 28, tw uh, 32 minus 28 is 4. So 4 is going to be my big number, my whole number, and my remainder is going to be in my numerator, and then the denominator stays the same. That's how I get 4 and 4 7. Okay, is it on? All right, how to change mixed numbers into improper fractions. Please write the steps down. Okay, so for example, I have three and one third. Okay, everybody write three and one third in their notebook, please. Okay. Thank you. What does step one tell me I have to do? Stop. <coughs> Denominator, say it. Denominator. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to multiply the denominator in the, in the, and the integer. What is an integer? Besides Tony. Kelly, what is an integer? No. Ronnie. Uh, the whole number. Whole number, okay? Yeah. All this means is whole number. I know you started with outside, though, so I had to stop you there. I didn't want you to confuse this with an outside number. Because when you see integers anywhere else in your math, it will be whole number. Okay, so I'm going to multiply 3 times 3, right? Yeah. Correct? Everybody got that? 3 yeah. times 3. 3 times 3 is what? 9. Okay. So I'm going to add the numerator to the value in step one. So my value is right here, right? My nine, 9. So I'm going to go 9 plus what? One. What's one, my one. numerator, huh? One. 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 Yes. One. Which equals 10, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And number three says what? The denominator. Okay, so what is my denominator? Three. <laughs> My denominator's here still. Nina, do you see that? So what goes over here? Good. Ten thirds. Everybody get that? Yes. Okay, I get a not really, so let's do one more. Five and seven eight. 
put them away. I'm going to take them away. Okay, my first step is going to be multiply the denominator, which is n which is 8, by, by the whole number, or the integer, which is 5. 8 times 5 is what? 49. No. Okay, 8 times 5 is 40. Then I'm going to do what in step 2? Andrew? Okay, so I have 40. 40 plus what? What is it, Andrew? 40 plus 7. Good. Which gives me 47. Do I leave it like that? No. No. What does step 3 say? Abby. So what do I do with this number now? Okay, what's the denominator? 8. Good. So now I have 47 eighths for my number. Okay? It'll just take some practice. All right. Yep, so it's sliding thing. All right, so slide the mixed number through the magic panel to see if it's an improper fraction. Okay, two and one fifth. Is it improper? No, it's a mixed number. So we slide it through, and there's our... Improper fraction. Okay. What do you think four and two sevenths might be? Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be an improper fraction. But try to think of in your head what you believe that improper fraction might be. I'll give you a second. Quiet. Think in your head what that improper fraction is gonna turn out to be. Remember, we're gonna go four times seven plus two. Boring you? Oh, I don't need your hands up. We're gonna see right now. What? What is this? Quietly. Put your hands down. We're gonna see it right now. I'm not gonna call for the answer. Okay. So four times seven plus two over seven gives us thirty over seven. Good. It's so Okay, whiteboards, please. Yeah. 